I'm going to read some things here about a home equity line of credit, some terminology when you're looking and you're applying for the right type of HELOC. So you know, you're like, this is good. All right. So right at the top it says home equity line of credit agreement. That's a that's a thumbs up right there. OK, so if you're if you've been applying or you're looking for HELOCs, make sure it does not say the word loan. OK, if it does, it's going to raise a red flag. Keep reading. All right. Here we go. It also says uh, it says index percentage 5.25 percent. It says margin. What is margin? We don't care. OK, then it says initial annual percentage rate, initial annual percentage rate. That's, you know, the first couple months or the first year of the interest rate you'll be charged. All right. So it says 2.99. It says temporary fixed initial daily periodic rate. So the words temporary that means not forever. Fixed means consistent for a temporary period of time. It says daily periodic rate, the daily interest rate. That's what we're concerned about. That's what we need to know. That's what's going to determine our cost when we're doing Velocity Bank. It says 0.008%. That's not bad. That's peanuts. That's peanuts. Okay? So this gentleman has a six-month intro rate of 2.99% on his HELOC. Okay, and he got approved for forty thousand. Not bad. I like it. So let's keep reading. Um, it says, you know, to get access to the account. This is when we're taking money out of the HELOC, putting money in. How do we do that? What is the right way to do that? So here are your options. It says account advances may be obtained in the following manner. Home equity checks. We don't want to do that. Written requests for a loan advance. We don't want to do that. Telephone requests for a loan advance. We don't want to do that. Online banking. Correct. Bonus. Very simple. You download the app for all my, you know, my older individuals. Look, got to get on this, got to get on this phone thing, okay? Download the app, okay, of the bank that you got your line of credit from they're going to have a mobile app make sure you link that okay with your your HELOC in the checking account make sure it's linked okay what does a link mean it, it, it's very simple okay you can call it in if you don't understand you're just connecting a checking account to the HELOC why because we don't want to do checks that cost money all right advances things like that that we don't do none of that we just want to be able to Take the money out, put it in your checking account. So the checking account does what? Make the chunk and pays your bills and expenses, things like that. Here's another thing that a lot of HELOCs, not all, some have, where it talks about an initial withdrawal period where you have to take money out, right? In another video I did for a gentleman um, who got a $50,000 HELOC, he had a mandatory withdrawal of $25,000. Okay, I'm not a big fan of those because for some people, we may not need all that to pull out at first. Okay, so it can cost us some, some interest. So for this gentleman, it says minimum draw requirements. The minimal initial account advance that borrower must draw under this agreement at the time of origination is $0. They're basically saying, listen, you don't have to take any money out. I'm cool with that. There's no closing fees. I'm cool with that. All right. So, and let's see. His term is 25 years. And it's a second position HELOC. Okay. Get a lot of questions sometimes. Or, well, Denzel, what's the difference between the first position HELOC and the second position HELOC, which one do you recommend best for me? Um, why do you like second position over first position? Here's why. For most people that are coming into this concept for the first time, okay, 
to take a big mortgage and convert it into a first position HELOC, understand just doing that alone is going to save you money. But please make sure that your payment is not interest only payments. Don't do that. Um, it's going to bite you because just imagine every single month if we're trying to do velocity banking where we're when we're dumping money in unfortunately if you have an interest only payment HELOC what I've seen so far okay look I'm learning I'm learning with you but what I've seen so far from a gentleman that was um working with uh re replace your mortgage he replaced his mortgage with a first position HELOC and their only their interest only payments his interest only payment was like a thousand something dollars so when he's dumping his whole in, his whole income in understand that bomb like twelve hundred dollars right towards interest and then the rest towards principal that can hurt us if we're trying to do velocity banking so what replace your mortgage tries to teach is they say use credit cards to put your expenses on all these credit cards with zero interest and all that good stuff so that you can bring the balance down further on the HELOC. Now, the danger with that is if these those if these things don't get paid off, now we're now we're neck deep. Now now velocity banking is is crushing on us. We never want that to happen. Okay, we don't want velocity banking to fall on us. So when you get a simple second position HELOC, okay, let's say you got a hundred thousand equity in your home. Listen, listen, all I need is 50. That's all I need. Give me 50, right? Don't give me too much. 50, 40, 30, 60, 70, 80. I don't need the whole amount. All right. I do that so we can make smaller strategic chunks faster, quicker, better results, and pay nothing in interest. Okay.